Here we are in Melbourne with the brand new Custom Coaches Enviro 200 MIDI bus with a brand new owner, Jimmy Sikovitsis. Hi Steve, how are you? Good thanks, tell us about the bus. Yeah, well it's a, it's a new bus on the market. Uh, we were looking for a, a, a new modern sort of MIDI bus, something fresh that can work in an estate that we're in. And we done a bit of research and we found this is probably the best product on the market. It's built like a conventional bus with a rear engine traditional low floor entry. Uh, we like it because it's a bit narrow as well, around the 2.44. Being a narrow estate, we get cars parked on either side and we're trying to squeeze through. So the narrow bus, it's a 9.7 metre bus and we thought that would be the right bus for the area. We've done a few trial runs and it's working out really well. And why do you like the engine in the rear? All of our route service buses are all rear engine buses. It gives us a better entry for the wheelchair accessibility and across the front. And it's easy for all of our drivers to go from one bus to another bus to another bus and having a, a front engine bus with a ramp sort of access further back. And it, it interacts with the passengers, everything. It's, it's more to our needs. Not to mention quieter for the driver. It is a lot quieter as well, yeah. And there's room for two wheelchairs there, isn't there? Yeah, so we're lucky we've got a second wheelchair in as well because we have got a retirement village in the estate that's quite large and it's growing. So that was important to us to be able to get two wheelchairs in. Well, that was an enjoyable drive in the Enviro 200. A little bit nerve-wracking on a couple of occasions in the very narrow uh, housing estate streets. At one stage, uh, a couple of cars were parked very inconsiderately, where a car could barely get through probably, and uh, I was a bit nervous as to whether this bus would get through, but it uh, did that with flying colours. Goes round roundabouts very well, very manoeuvrable, round corners, so it's, it's custom built, to use a pun, for those sort of narrow streets, obviously. The Voith four-speed transmission is quite smooth. The 185 horsepower is more than adequate for the narrow streets on the estate. We went up a couple of very steep hills quite well. I just gave it a, a test run on the freeway to see how it goes getting up to speed on the rare occasions that a bus like this is likely to need to go onto the freeway. Got up to speed quite well sat on 100 k's at about 23.50 rpm, well in the red zone for fuel consumption, but the main thing is you're not going to hold up other traffic with this. The seats are comfortable and there's plenty of room, plenty of knee space, plenty of width room even for large guys, uh, plenty of standing space obviously. It's not like some buses where they've jam-packed the seats and the standing capacity in, it doesn't feel pushed. The only negative, if you could call it that, it's not going to be a negative from the passenger or driver's point of view, I wouldn't think, is that the four-cylinder Cummins engine is noisy, particularly on the outside. So noise level is uh, about the only thing that I can think of that could be improved. Yeah.